Oklahoma Newsroom. This is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. The Baker Mayfield Odyssey has become one that makes us all kind of shake our heads and wonder. It's pretty amazing. And Jason Kersey joins us on the phone to talk about that. And Jason, you've uh, you've rewound some on Baker Mayfield, the uh, Sooner quarterback, and just how he got to this point, uh, uncovered some new things as you've talked to people. Is there a most unbelievable part of this story that you just keep coming back to and sort of shaking your head at? <laughs> uh, there's a lot of those. I mean, the, the, the whole thing is crazy. The, the, uh, the idea that a guy uh, that, you know, had no real, you know, or very few offers out of high school would go win the job as a true freshman walk-on when he arrived at Texas Tech in July. Um, so, I mean, it only took him a, about a month to win that job. I mean, that's unbelievable. The, uh, you know, the fact that he would then leave, come to Oklahoma, play intramural softball for a while, and then, <laughs> um, and then just show up and walk onto the team, uh, you know, is unbelievable. I mean, the whole thing is unbelievable. I could, uh, this video would be 15 minutes long if I described everything about this story that's unbelievable, you know? Yeah, well, you know, and um, I, I, we've talked and had this, uh, this aspect of it uh, in, in the paper and on News OK, Jason, but... Uh, when Baker Mayfield decides to transfer, his father calls the compliance office at Oklahoma and gets left on hold for three, four, five minutes. I mean, what if he's not as patient as some people? What if he just said after two minutes, I I'm done, I'm hanging up, or after four minutes, I'm done, I'm hanging up? They did come back on the line, but, Jason, there were points all along this path where things might have gone differently and Baker Mayfield might not have been a Sooner. Yeah, and, you know, just the... <laughs> The, the gall of him to come walk on to OU and play quarterback in the month um, after the Sugar Bowl when, mm -hmm. you know, it appeared that Trevor Knight was going to be that was going to be the guy for at least the next two years. Um, and it, there really wasn't much uh, question about that. So, you know, that's pretty um, gutsy as well. Uh, the, 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 like I said, the idea that a guy would have to walk on twice, a guy this good, a guy that was, you know, very close to being invited to New York to the Heisman ceremony um, is a first team all American according to a few different selectors and and has his team uh, you know in the national championship races it's really remarkable Jason the bigger picture on this I almost scratch my head sometimes when I think about all of these things some that you've mentioned other things that are running through my head and I'm sure other people as we think about Baker Mayfield but it just almost makes you wonder are college recruiters missing on other guys like this? Are there, are there guys out playing uh, intramural football that, if given the chance, might be able to get on the field? I mean, we always say that these recruiters will find talent no matter where it is. I mean, Baker Mayfield was right down the street from the University of Texas campus, and they didn't want him. Texas Tech really didn't. They, he was a walk-on out there. And same at OU. I mean, are we to assume that there might be other guys like this wandering around? Well, I mean, I, I'm not sure because the thing about Baker Mayfield uh, that's sort of unique is that he was um, he, he played at Lake Travis High School. So the two quarterbacks before him, Garrett Gilbert and Michael Brewer, both went to you know both signed with major programs, and neither of them were really all at nearly as good as people thought they were going to be at the next level. Mm -hmm. and I think there's I think there are a lot of people that that looked at Baker Mayfield, they saw his size, then they looked at his numbers and thought, well. That's a system they've got at Lake Travis, and you know, you know, they don't. I think that hurt Baker Mayfield as much as anything in the recruiting. But um, certainly, the the intangibles and the toughness and those things are things that a lot of people missed on. I'm not sure how many other Baker Mayfields there are out there, but it does make you wonder. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure there are many guys with his skill set and, like you say, his uh, his fiery competitive nature. I'm not sure that. Uh, those come along every day. Be sure to check out Jason's story on Baker Mayfield's Odyssey. It's in the Sunday Oklahoman, and it'll be on News OK a day or so later. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at NewsOK.com every day in the Oklahoman.